Hey guys, how you doing today? We are gonna be talking about whether you should buy the hardtop convertible or the coupe. We are gonna go check out another Corvette at a dealership and we are just gonna get an overview of why you may wanna spend the $7,500 to go hardtop convertible instead of coupe. Never has a Corvette sold more convertibles than what the C8 is doing right now. A lot of people are opting to go the hardtop convertible route. There's very select few cars that actually have that look and we're gonna go over that. We're gonna look at it side by side. I want you to put in the comments below what you guys think is the better look. We've got the beautiful C8 and we actually have some scaffolding up. We're gonna be doing some siding this week so that's gonna be loads of fun. Oh yeah, she sounds beautiful, doesn't she guys? Okay guys, so we got two C8 Corvettes next to each other. We got my Corvette, which is the hardtop convertible, and then we have the coupe. It's pretty cool seeing the ceramic matrix gray next to the actual white. That is different. This is actually a non Z51 package, but they actually have the high wing spoiler. So what do you guys think? Look at this. I, I'm kind of on the fence now. I actually love the hardtop convertible. I think this is an awesome platform and where this has gone and the way it looks is just super exotic, especially when you take the top down. But actually coming over here, taking a look at the engine, the engine looks a lot nicer than I had thought previously. This actually looks really nice as well. I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence of where I was before. I still think of ease of use and exotic look, if you want a more exotic look, going with the hardtop convertible, I think you can't go wrong with that. Especially not having to put the top in the trunk, whereas you lose trunk space there. Um, if you're going on like a trip or something, that just makes sense, having this space available to where everything just folds up in here. So in a way, I actually think it's worth it. I think it's worth spending the $7,500 to actually get this. One, you get the more exotic look, and two, your top doesn't go in the back here, it actually goes right in here. But again, there's an argument to be made for actually how cool this is. And going back and taking a look at it, looks very Lamborghini, Ferrari there. It doesn't look as exotic, in my opinion, as this does, especially when the top is down. Now, I can't take the top off this one right now. The top down in this one just looks so much more exotic, guys. It is unbelievable. But yeah, from the front, you can't really tell much. You can probably tell a little bit right here what's going on. And then on this one, it's kind of hard to tell. You really can't tell the difference from the sides. Like, let's see here. You got mine over here, and then you got this one over here. So it's not, it's not very distinguishable from the front or from the sides, honestly. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I think this is way worth it. I think paying the $7,500 for this, taking a look at it like this with the top down, this just looks exotic. And actually having space free in the trunk as well, especially for like a long trip. That is priceless in my opinion. Yeah, again, having something there would have been cool, but you're not gonna be able to see it with all the stuff in the back here. So that's not really a big deal in my opinion. This look with the nacelles and this just curvy Ferrari Lambo look, more of a Ferrari look in my opinion, just looks amazing. Uh, when you go over here to this one, with the top up, you're gonna see all this all the way to this pillar here where this break off is. And this is the only part that gets taken away and then put in the trunk. So not only do you not get to see any of this like in this exotic look area, but you won't be able to see, you'll actually lose space in the trunk. So when you're going on a trip, that's gonna really eat up a lot of your space. This is cool, but, and you know, being able to see the engine is awesome. I'm sticking with the hardtop convertible, guys. I think the hardtop convertible, when it comes out and you can see that amazing, beautiful engine in the Z06, it'll be worth it. In the standard, it doesn't look nice enough in the engine bay, in my opinion. It looks nice, don't get me wrong, but it definitely does not look nice enough in the engine bay to justify not going for the hardtop convertible. I think the hardtop convertible just looks so much nicer. Gives it that much more exotic look. The percentages of this has gone up so high when it comes to the hardtop convertible sales. People are fine paying $7,500 for that look. That is not very common. On this hardtop convertible, there are only a select few cars that have this exotic look and they are all above $200,000 starting price. Honestly, this look is amazing and I think it's totally worth it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think it's worth it paying the $7,500 for the hardtop convertible. I don't think it gets any better. This again is cool and uh, I think it's nice. And if you're not into the hardtop convertible look and you wanna be able to just take that off and stow it, I think that's great. But having that trunk space available 
I would swap that any day of the week to not really care to see the engine. Until they can come up with something where you can actually see the engine and have everything go back in here, I would still choose this over that any day of the week. But this is a very nice, clean, non-Z51 package. It is a beautiful car. The aftermarket wing, let me know what you guys think. I actually like this a lot. This thing looks really nice. Do you think I should put this in my C8 Corvette? What do you think? Do you think that would take away from some of the exotic look? Or do you think it would keep some of the exotic look? If you guys want it, I'll get it and I'll put it on my car. Just let me know. This does look a little underwhelming, but when you look at it from a distance, you know, it looks really exotic. I The thing I don't like about this wing is I don't like the four pillars. One, two, three, four. I wish it was just either two pillars or, you know, probably not those big fat pillars on the outside, but like maybe these or like a little more here and here. That would have been awesome. But unfortunately, that's what you get, so. It is super cool seeing the two different colors next to each other, the Arctic white and the ceramic matrix gray. This just looks the part. This looks like $200,000 exotic to me, whereas that doesn't. Um, but it is nice to be able to see the engine and I will give it props. In my opinion, this engine bay does look a lot nicer than I ever imagined. This is the first time I've seen a standard coupe Corvette in person. So I think this actually looks amazing. And really quick guys, I will show you the hardtop convertible. It in action. Look at all these beautiful components. This is what you're paying for when you spend that extra $7,500. Beautiful. And then also this coupe look is pretty sleek and nice looking, especially with the high wing that they have on this thing. Again, this isn't a Z51 package, but it does look very nice. Coming up to this, I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I hardtop convertible guys. Hardtop convertible. For me, the hardtop convertible wins it out, but I'll be honest with you, I think the engine bay looks amazing in this. This is much nicer than I had thought. I think the answer to everybody's question is just buy both. Buy one of these and buy one of those. If you wanna go for a car night, like an engine night, go like that. If you wanna take your wife out, get the hardtop convertible. That's my answer to your question, guys. So anyway, thank you so much. I hope you like this. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.